If you're like me, you've always been looking at that navigator feature in Photoshop and thought, this seems like a good idea, then tried it for a couple of minutes and turned it off forever. It seems like a good idea to always have a glance on the whole composition of the painting you're working on, but it's just not working correctly with Navigator. Really outdated, with very clumsy interface and very slow performance. But recently, as I was finishing my giant painting, I decided to use one of those tricks I saw some of the concept artists using sometimes, and actually managed to improve on it a little bit. So let me show you how I do it. So, first of all, you have your image like this, and to create the new view, you simply go Window, Arrange, and create the new window for the project you're working on. So you press the button, and there it is, literally two tabs with the identical artwork. So from here, all you do is you drag it out, and you have the instant preview that will always be over your main working space. So you can zoom in and work on any details, and it will be updating in this preview right here. But it doesn't stop there. Another really cool feature that I learned from one course is actually the ability to have an instant black and white preview for your document. Many artists and tutors will always tell you that it's a good idea to preview your image in black and white to see if you are doing okay with the values, because values are number one priority. Colors go later. That's how eyes work. So it's really cool to see how things actually work out. So for that, we select our navigator view and go view, proof setup, and in here, we choose custom. Usually it's one of the CMYK modes. We go custom, and in here we choose gray gamma 1.8. I specifically recommend 1.8 because it's much closer to the, the way the actual colors truly transform into black and white. It's a common knowledge that in Photoshop, usually desaturation like this is the wrong way to make the picture black and white because it doesn't account for the fact that like fully saturated blue is much darker than fully saturated yellow, and those things need to be accounted when you switch to black and white. So for that, we use that 1.8 gamma mode, it's definitely a lot closer to what it should be. To compare, right now I'll actually desaturate the document and you'll see the colors change quite a lot, even though we're just desaturating on top of that. Again, in here you can see this is proof colors mode and the shortcut for that is Control Y. So you just select the window and press Control Y and you can quickly switch to the black and white preview of your document. Another thing I really like doing is actually I found out that seeing the preview as big as possible is actually really good. It kind of becomes not really a preview, but just a full size view at your painting as you're working zoomed in. And here, you wanna see the whole thing as detailed as possible. So usually what I do is I go like this. So I'll have the full view on the document on the left, and this thing will be centering on its own on the right. Every view has its own dedicated space. And also another good thing, I noticed it's always working much better. I recommend zooming out like this a little bit. It seems like I'm wasting space, but really, I don't know, can you tell I'm having a much better view at the picture right now? I can evaluate the composition way better. One thing to mention that, of course, it won't work that well for very horizontal, like landscape paintings. Let's say we're working on a picture like this, then it won't work that great. So that's one limitation, I guess. In that case, it may be better to use the floating window. But still, what's good about this approach generally is that the whole picture you, you need to see in here. And when you're working on details, I may totally work with just this little spot and whatever I'm seeing in here, it doesn't matter. And of course, if you have a second monitor, this thing is just perfect. You literally move the window to another monitor and press this button and you have the whole monitor dedicated to the preview of your artwork. So yeah, that's my way of setting up the painting process. Tell me guys what you think, maybe you have some ideas on top of this. And if you wanna see more of this kind of advice, like quick tip videos, make sure to subscribe, because this is coming every week. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.